Let's talk about developer. Developer is hydrogen peroxide, and this is what makes our colors work. This is what's going to open the cuticle so you can get those color molecules inside. There are many different strengths of developer, and it's really important that you choose the right one for the job. So I'm gonna go through them all with you, and I'll help you decide what to use on your next color. Our gentlest one is the CPL. This is the color processing lotion. This is for depositing only, and it's demi-permanent. You can use this with any of our cream colors, and you will not be able to go any lighter. It's just for depositing, and it'll give you a demi-permanent result. 10 through 40 are going to be for permanent hair colors. Your 10 is going to be the gentlest for permanent. It'll give you zero to one levels of lift. And a lot of people will ask why there's a range there from zero to one. Now, if you have a client with very fine, porous hair, she's gonna get that full level of lift, right? Because her hair is just gonna take to color like that. But if you have someone with coarse or very dark or thick, resistant hair, you might get the zero levels of lift. It's not gonna be as easy to penetrate that cuticle. So that's why there's a range. When you see that on our developers, really fine, porous hair will get more lift than coarse, thick, resistant hair. So with 10, you'll get zero to one levels of lift. With 20, you'll get one to two. With 30, you'll get two to three. And with 40, you'll get three to four levels of lift. Now you'll notice that we have a 25 here in between the 20 and 30. That is to save you some time on your gray clients. You could just mix 20 and 30 together, but we make it easy for you. It's pre-mixed and this is great for your resistant gray clients. With your gray haired clients, you always want to use at least 20 volume. The 10 and the CPL just don't have enough firepower. They're not going to lift the cuticle. So even if you're depositing, always use at least 20 volume on your gray. And if they're pretty resistant, you can go to the 25 or even the 30. Now you'll see we have some blue ones here that comes in CPL, 20 volume and 40 volume. These have blue violet tone right in them, and they're going to make your life so much easier when it comes to lifting through warmth. These are going to help cancel out gold and orange, those brassy tones as you're lifting. So you don't have to add extra tone to your color. So I use these for a lot of my highlights. If I'm trying to cut through, um, you know, those brassy tones on maybe darker haired clients, these are a lifesaver. So only CPL 20 and 40 for those. Now for timing, you want to add 10 minutes to whatever the developer is. So as an example, the 10 volume developer, you're going to process, you're going to add 10, so process for 20 to 25. 20, you're going to process 30 to 35. 25, you're going to process 35 to 40. 30 volume, you're going to go 40 to 45. And your 40, add 10, 50 to 55 minutes. So when you're picking your developer, you want to know how many levels of lift you're going to go. You want to know how porous or how coarse that hair is. And that's how you can choose the correct developer for any project.